Answers at the VA over that sex scandal. Today, Kansas Senator Jerry Moran went straight to the top. He asked the man in charge why they hired Mark Wisner and why they never fired him. Only on 41 Action News, Lexi Suter showed that exchange to one of the victims. Today, Senator Jerry Moran pressed VA Secretary Robert McDonald for answers. Now, on two occasions, citing our previous 41 Action News reports. The answers that the secretary gave, though, not good enough for one veteran who tells me he was sexually abused here at the Leavenworth VA Hospital. This veteran watched. Why is he the number one guy for the VA not having the same information that our senator has. As the head of the VA responded to Senator Jerry Moran on sexual abuse allegations piling up against the Leavenworth VA. Why I didn't see the data you may have or where you got your data, um, there was nothing in his uh, file that suggested that uh, this was a risk. The sticking point, how was Mark Wisner hired in the first place? A 41 Action News investigation uncovered he came to the Leavenworth VA with a previous conviction of sexual nature. Very upsetting. I, I just, I don't know. I don't think they did a very good background check on him. I mean, I think the process needs to change on backgrounds for, for these doctors. This victim feels his pain and suffering could have been avoided. Why was he hired? to give us treatment and the way he did things, you know, I, it's hard, you know, to see it. Seeing this gives him some relief, but what he experienced still haunts him. I mean, I don't sleep much because of it. I had the same repeated dream. It's like I'm in this big VA and I'm trying to get to an exit and I'm not getting out of there and he's chasing me, but he keeps getting closer, but I'm not getting anywhere. Another federal lawsuit was filed against Mark Wisner today. That makes it number 12. Meantime, Wisner will be in Leavenworth County courtroom on Friday for his criminal charges. Reporting in Leavenworth tonight, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News. And the VA never fired Wisner. He resigned after he surrendered his medical license.